Hello, my name is Gaurav, and we have started this series where where we are learning this tool called as uh, Azure DevOps, right? So in the previous session, we saw that how you can create an account, and we know that the structure is like this: that there is one organization, and there can be multiple project under it. Say project, project one, project two, project three, right? So we have uh, created a organization called as Gaurav Kurana. I have added my first project here, and through this button, we can add another project if we want, right? So today we'll proceed forward that we have the project now, right? So what we can do now? So I'll tell you that uh, let's go inside this project by clicking on this. and then if i click on this plus right you see only few options are there like epic task and issue there is nothing called as user story or bug or feature the common terminology so we'll see how we can bring those so let's begin so firstly you have to click on this icon as your devops and then here you will see the organization settings right so here you are seeing these organization settings so we'll uh, click on this organization settings and i'll talk about some common settings which will be useful for you as a tester and generally using all these options so here is an option that you can change your organization name so for example if by mistake you gave this kurana gorav and now you want some automation or something Uh, as per your liking so you can change the organization anytime you want you can have some description that description would be uh, visible on the main page like this description whatever you write when you go here it will be visible so here you can change the name so we'll see few of the options here so this overall is for changing uh, these settings projects you will see that what all uh, projects are there inside your organization and you can make some bulk level changes which all users are there will go there and usage is about like suppose uh, how how much user are using how much like what features they are using and so that you know that if there is a billing happening that and you can connect this even to azure active uh, directory right so uh, for example uh, there can be azure active directory of your company where already some users are there right so that you can directly connect it from there right and the most important thing is this process so we will uh, learn that about this process so let me take you to the process first there are other important things as well so i'll take you through them one by one but let's understand what is process so if you see there are uh, different ways of uh, conducting a uh, project right so there are uh, agile way or scrum way so these are some like these are having some terminology let me show you to make it clear suppose i click on basics so if you see that some of the things available are epic issue task test case test plan test suite so this is available in basic but we will use agile for uh, this training let me click on this so uh, when i click on Ag this agile so you will see that there is an option of bug there is an option of user story right there is a feature option these test case test plan and test suits are common and issue is still there and there is epic so all these option changes as per uh, the plan you opt for like like the process you opt for so if i go to scrum uh, things still remain the same right but it's just that the name has been changed for example in case of scrum they call it pbi instead of user story right and like here they call impediment there they call issue so uh, this symbol will tell you that like they they have various symbols in azure devops tools to represent each of these things for example epic is present like this crown icon and this winner icon as feature and then we have task with a tick box right and test case test plan and test suits are uh, common across all so we will select here that which uh, process we want right so i'll go and similarly i'll show you cmmi as well so here also if you see things are more or less same it's just that they uh, change it based on the terminology that is used over there like they use chr or change request over there so that's why you see and there is a risk option and review option and you can customize all these processes and make it according to the way you want it that can also be done so for example if i click here create inherited process 
but for now what i'll do is i'll make it as set as default process right now agile is the default process so we'll create a new project right so that we see all those options so i'll click on this new project and name it as automation okay and i'll have to click on this advance so when i click on this advance you will see that the options are coming which kind of project i want which process basically i want here right and if you have the various like you are using git you can select this or tfs so i'll select agile here and i click on create and this is a private project right so let's see the new project that gets created okay now if i click here you see i am seeing all these options which were uh, not coming earlier right so these options were uh, not coming earlier when i click on this plus icon now i can see that this bug is coming and all the other options are coming as well so this is my new project and let's quickly see that uh, what are the other settings that are there now i have two projects i'll go to organization settings uh in the billing it will show you that in your free account how much uh, you are allowed to use and like if you see there are agents given and you can run ci cd pipelines for 1800 minutes right and you can add maximum five users because that would be enough right we can add and how much artifacts we can store and uh, you can connect the azure active directory if you have with your organization or somewhere where people are there and this was the most important process things which you might need and apart from that permissions uh, because many times in the project you will face many uh, problems related to permissions right so these are the various groups that can be created suppose you want to add some uat user or some extra users you can create a group and give them appropriate permissions Mm, that can be seen over here and users can also be seen over here so let me show you one of the groups for example if i click on any group so you will see the settings over here right so some of the settings that would be useful for you is test plan right sometimes people cannot create test plan so they uh, might not have these permissions so this is one of the important ones that uh, would be useful for you right apart from that uh, like how many parallel jobs can be run for the ci cd so generally in the free account it is one but uh, in the paid or comp organization accounts you can explore these settings right and so yeah these are the some of the important ones list you can explore and you can ask me if you have any questions so just to summarize what we did today we created a new project we set the process as agile right and after that uh, we should be able to see those options which i showed you for example if i click on automation here and i click on plus i should be able to see all these options and there is another project created okay so hope you will be able to do this and if you find any issue just let me know thank you for watching let's keep learning